<laughs> booze to taste, all right. Cool. Right, and I love how you're measuring the alcohol. You're oh, like, I'm eating sure of You're this. like, nothing else is really matters in this lifetime. <laughs> Mm. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Andrew and this is... Sarah! So you may know Sarah from some of the local Houston hotspots like Tongue Cut Sparrow. I said that right. Mm -hmm. Tongue Cut Sparrow and then she's also helped us out with Secret Taste and you I'm know... I'm currently a grand prize where I've been very happily bartending for a little while now. Cool. So once everything opens back up again, you can always see me there. I'll be ready with some drinks for you. Awesome. Alright, so today is July 10th. This is National Pina Colada Day. Mm -hmm. So we have Sarah here to help share some of her Mystical special tips. Magic. Mystical to... magic, special tips. All right, so again, we're just gonna do our very simple at-home pina colada. Okay. Nothing crazy, no bells and whistles, um, just something that's delicious and enjoyable. Cool. Uh, if you do end up wanting to spice it up though, I would suggest maybe using two different rums, playing around with something a little darker, maybe funky, okay. or rum agricole, uh, and just throwing a little dash of it in there. So what is your favorite type of rum to drink and then also for drinks? Oh, good question. No one's ever asked me that. Ding. Um, okay, so for sip and rum, yeah. uh, everybody has their own style of sip and rum. Some people really like things that are kind of leathery and punchy. Some people like older rums. I personally like mine uh, soft and sweet and okay. velvety. Kind of so today for the pina colada, mm -hmm. what are we using? Today we're going to use Bacardi Superior. Okay. Uh, it's going to be again clean, crisp. It, it'll make way for the delicious flavors of coconut and pineapple okay. that we really want to shine today. Cool. Um, we're just looking for something that you can sip in your backyard. It's like a good base, so this way mm -hmm. it doesn't overpower the flavors of the cocktail. Right, cool. I mean, what people like to do at home is they like to add all this amazing, interesting, delicious stuff, which is super cool, but if you're gonna drink a lot of it, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna want something that you can drink over and over again. True, makes sense. Okay. All right, so cool. Let's get going. We're going to start with our cheaper ingredients first and right. work our way up because once the rum's in the cocktail, you can't take it back out. Okay. The other ingredients you can definitely um, put into lemonade or something for fun. So what we're gonna do... You can put your extra rum into extra the lemonade. Extra rum. Yeah, you can just have a punch at the end of the day. There's nothing wrong with punch. So you're gonna go for I your lime. I punched myself earlier in the day. <laughs> <laughs> a healthy amount of pineapple juice. Okay. Uh, you can use coconut cream like I have here. Uh, if you prefer lighter pina coladas, you can use a mixture of Coco Lopez and um, coconut water. You can do it all kinds of ways. It's really an up to you situation. How is it? It's really sweet. It's freaking delicious, I know. <laughs> it's delicious. And if you have some left over, you can put it over ice cream or whatever. There's really no need That's to waste it. That's what it is. It. I was like, what would you put this on? You would put it on ice cream, my dude. Put it, put it in ice cream, put it in all sorts of stuff. It's really thick. Yeah. Uh, we went for like a really classic two ounces of rum. Okay. Um, a little bit of ice. Cool. So, for pina coladas, are they typically like shaken and not like blended, or is it just like? Yeah, I, I mean, know. you can really do either. There's no. There's, there's no right or wrong. There's I guess. no right or wrong okay. either way. Um, especially if you're like we said at home. You True. Can, you are the king of your own country. You do what you want. I'm gonna shake this guy to do though. All right. Cool. Have our crusty blender here. Yeah, you just give it a little bit of a shake for incorporation um, because the whatever coconut cream you use is going to be a little thicker than the rest of the yeah. solution. So you really want it to. You want to mix it up. Yeah, you want to you want to marry that with the rest of the ingredients and make sure Man, that he's is a happy guy. So is this glass, mm -hmm. is there some special significance? Because it does look kind of wild. Uh, no, dude, it's just it's just an extra special fancy glass that I found oh, in my true. grandpa's cupboard. Oh yeah, so there is special significance. Yeah. I better not drop that. Well, <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. Right. I'm, kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, throw a little more ice in there and garnish it with whatever you have at home. Uh, today I have a lime wheel. Cool. And then a little bit of candied pineapple with oh, a Luxardo nice. maraschino cherry. Yum. 
And there's an octopus. Yeah, there's an octopus skewer, again, not from Amazon. <laughs> Definitely, from the vintage closet. Definitely of her from grandfather. the vintage closet. Very nice. And voila! Cool. It's got a really pretty pina colada. Why don't you give that a try? It's all right, like all right. Can't say no to a delicious pina colada. That is very good. Man, this is like one really well, tiny like straw. Yeah, it's really. Oh, that's. Oh, man, look at this leaf, the though. Also what? Vintage. It's also vintage straws. Oh, yeah. I feel yeah, like I shouldn't be favorite. drinking out of it. It's, it's, it's fine. vintage. They're great. They're clean. Right. They're beautiful. Very nice. Delicious. It's like really crisp, perfect for these hot summer days. I think it was like 110 degrees in Houston today. Oh my gosh. So, you know, yeah. if you want to refresh and chill, pina colada is the way to go. I don't know. I like tropical stuff. So oh, I love for me, this stuff. hits the mark. I mean, I don't think I've met a single person yet who doesn't like pina coladas. Now, I would say pina coladas are not good if you're on a diet. Which clearly I am not on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we forgot one thing. Is there another secret ingredient? It's not an ingredient, but you know. You caught it. That was really magical. You know, we had to. I don't think I've ever caught anything in my whole life. Do something tropical. I always tell people not to throw things to me. So you just, yep, you just push up. Oh, from I was the like, middle. What, where, where's the. Just push. Wait for the middle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you took the thing. Oh. Take There's the another rubber band? Yeah. Oh, shit. Coat's cool, All not right. a problem. We can do the inverted method as well, which is super cute. With the octopus. I learned that from my friend Aki. Chilling. Um, oh, yeah. Just let it no, all in there. In you don't there. want it in the cocktail. You want it all in the cocktail. Right. That delicious umbrella flavor. <laughs> Look at that. Umbrella, octopus, cherry, pineapples, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of summer. What more could you want? Very nice. Cheers to the at-home drinker. Now, July 11th is National Mojito Day. Mm -hmm. So Sarah is gonna teach us how to make a mojito. I am. So tell us a little bit about what we got here and how you're gonna prepare the mojito. All right, so we're gonna have our most basic at-home setup, something that you can definitely do for yourself, your family, or your friends while you're stuck at home. Um, you just need a little bit of healthy mint, some fresh squeezed lime juice. I did a simple syrup that is a one-one. That just means one part sugar, one part water. Melt it down. Be careful not to burn it. Okay. You can burn sugar, believe it or not. I've probably done that before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then whatever your favorite rum is, I just chose something that's crisp, light, will really let the mint shine. And um, we have a little bit of Bacardi Superior in this guy. Cool. Um, and are you ready to learn yeah. how to make a mojito? Let's do it. I can't say I've ever made one before, so yes. first time for this first one too. Time for everything. Um, we're gonna do the non-shake method for this guy just because most people probably don't have tins at home. So you're Boy, just gonna grab. Trust the pro over here. All right, so you're just gonna take uh, a little pinch of mint, you know, not too little, not too much. Very zesty, I can smell it from here. I know, the oils, they're very fragrant. Um, you just throw it in the bottom of that guy. Uh, we're gonna take our cheaper ingredients first, work our way up to oh. the liquor because okay. you can always toss out a little bit of lime and a little bit of sugar, but once you waste the rum, the rum is gone. We can't waste it, you gotta drink it. We can't waste it. So we did. So first one was? Lime juice. Lime juice and then simple syrup. Simple syrup. Uh, of course, you can adjust to taste. The oh. ratio that I would normally use are like three quarters of an ounce for lime, half an ounce for simple syrup. Most okay. people have a slightly drier palate. Okay. Um, which just means they would rather taste the tart over the sweet. Now I like tart my stuff really freaking sweet. So I always throw in a little extra sugar for me. So you put a little bit less alcohol and more sugar. No, I put the same amount of alcohol. Oh, okay, okay. More sugar, <laughs> more same sugar, alcohol. More sugar, okay. same amount of wine. I got you, I got um, you. And then we're gonna go for like a full two ounces of whatever rum is your favorite rum. That's all the way up to the top of this guy. Um, and then we're gonna take a bar spoon. You can use any spoon that you have at home. And you're just gonna very gently mash him up against the glass there. You just wanna squeeze enough of those oils out of the mint. You're not trying to- um, You're not trying to like polarize it. Eviscerate, yeah. Oh, okay. You're not trying to destroy the mint. You True. Just, you just want like enough of like a little mint. The whiskey. flavor to come out. Exactly. I gotcha. Exactly. 
that guy looks. This black looks cool. I know, it's beautiful. Is I, it like I vintage or something? found it, yeah. Oh, you found it? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's vintage. So my grandma and grandpa have this beautiful cabinet that they got from Taiwan. It's huge. Hey, shout outs to the homeland. Yeah, in like the 60s or 70s. Um, and so one day I actually looked in it this last year. Okay. And it's just full of beautiful glass. Oh, there. that's dope. Did you get to like, were you just like, uh, let me yeah. take this one and that one? Yeah, I, oh, found, that's cool. I found a completely unopened bottle of Midori from the 80s. Oh, did and you drink it? No, man, I didn't drink that. I'm like, it's in the box, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to that, see if it's worth any money. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. 40 years old, nice and extra VA. So syrupy. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna give the ice a little bit of a jostle. Um, you still want to dilute the drink, but you're not going to get the same amount of dilution you would get from vigorously shaking. Okay, it. cool. Um, and at the same time, you're pressing the mint to the bottom, just like you would with a classic julep. Yep, and all you need to do is pop this guy off and garnish it with whatever you have on hand. I've oh, got yeah. a really pretty lime coin here. Ooh, it's a turtle. I know. It's Very nice. I was so stoked. I found those on Amazon. Those pics are on Amazon. Very. They're not from Amazon. They're from the vintage cabinet. Oh, JK. Okay. All right. We're I think it's like 60 years old. I know. I think yeah, it's like it's pure so sterling vintage. silver. They were way ahead of their time. I'm telling you. A uh, little bit of mint just to make it cute. And I have uh, julep straws specifically. You can use whatever straws you have at home, or you can just sip right out of the top. The mint won't get in your way. So the purpose of the julep straw is to still like mix it up while you're drinking it so you can release more of the aroma from the mint? Uh, you totally can. I mean, uh, that's one of its many functions. Okay. But really, the, the plate or the spoon is there to okay. protect the straw from whatever um, particles are floating around. Say, for example, if you have berries or mint in the bottom, I gotcha. you don't really need that getting in your teeth. True. Yeah, and that's cool. it. That's a classic uh, mojito. Really easy, delicious, crisp. You can have a sip. I'll let you take the first sip. Mmm. <laughs> yeah? No? Yes. No? Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean really you get the flavor of the mint mm -hmm. mixed with the lime, a little bit of sourness. Mm. So I just drink all of it. That's <laughs> okay. You know what? what yeah. It's you very know, nice. Just, you just like, are you just like, but I mean it wasn't that much. It? It, it, that's a standard cocktail. Size. It is like, nice. That's a full, that's a full cocktail. <laughs> well, good thing I didn't eat dinner. That's the whole situation, my dude. That's a situation? Oh, that's it. We're about to see in 10 minutes if it's a situation. There she is. Cool. Okay, so now that we've already made that first mojito, why don't you go ahead and try oh. making one for yourself so right, that you cool. can do it at home. Well, I'm going to make this one for you since you made one for me. Oh my gosh. So uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Bartender but hopefully, on hopefully, you know, we'll get this knowledge <laughs> in here. Like that little kid yeah. studying. All right. All right, cool. Let's see so, what you got. lime juice. Mm -hmm. Step number one is All put right. the mint in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and just take a little pinch. Yeah, oh. that's the right one. Mm -hmm. What if I just like. Maybe a little more. What if I just like. Yes. Flow and then. To be perfectly honest, you can do it matter. the opposite way too, and it doesn't matter until you throw the ice on top. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you've got some lime, you've got some mint in there. And uh, you remember why we're doing the little pressing. The pressing? Uh, the pressing move, right? Just so that we can get a nice <laughs> Is this enough lime? That's plenty. Okay. That's oh, plenty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want to go said, ahead? Like a little bit of this one? Yeah. Just whatever feels right. You we, said you liked it sweeter. Yeah. Because you're at home, and honestly, if you want to readjust it, you totally can. You can go ahead. Yep. Do you, boo? It's like cooking. Taste as you go. Um, if you ever did want to taste where a cocktail is, you'll just take the spoon, dab it on the back of your hand, and then give it, a, and then give it an actual dab. <laughs> right. And then and you then said <laughs> booze to taste. All right. Cool. Right, and I love how you're measuring the alcohol. You're oh, like, I'm each two. You're that. like nothing else is, really matters in this lifetime. <laughs> okay, that's. Hey, um, can you throw me that's the ingredient in the special bag over here? Oh my gosh, please tell me about something. Oh, I got something for you. Completely I ridiculous. got something. So. Is that a mango? Yeah. Okay, what's what's up with the... Mango mojito. Mango mojito. Let's hope I don't cut myself. Do you know how to, cut, you know how to cut open a mango? Well, not really. Do you want me to help you? No, that's all right, I got it. All right. 
I like it. Are you gonna juice it? Oh wait, are you gonna? It's a surprise. You okay. Know. You know, you know. I like it. You're gonna do the slice and squeeze. Right, slice and squeeze. Classic. I was just doing. I mean, this is like the easiest way to eat it, right? Oh yeah, that's how my mom used to do it for right? me as a kid. For all the moms out there who cut their mango for their kids like that, bless you. I feel like this is like the real Asian way. Absolutely. To do it. Are you kidding me? And that's then you flip it and reverse it like Missy Elliott said. <gasps> Boom! Yes, look at how beautiful it bloomed. Wow, getting creative. I think that would be all right. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, that's then, what's really fun about doing it at home too. Right. Put anything in it. Sarah's really gonna like this one. Anything. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Anything. Anything. All right, let me get the other stuff. Anything. It's like I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. You throw some ice in there. If you wanna. Perfect, perfect. Leave a little room for the set to mm -hmm. From Texas. Actually, no. Just kidding. Not Texas. From Mexico. From Mexico. Just a little bit in the top for effervescence. It's perfect. Cool. And if you want to go ahead and throw the bar spoon Goodness. in there and just give it a little bit of, yeah. Just get everything nice and incorporated. Incorporated. And there we are. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. I hope it's good, because if it's not, oh, yeah. I'll drink it. Mmm, -hmm. Topo Chico. Topo Chico? Wait a second, that's it? That's all it tastes like? <laughs> Wait a second, come back. I'm just kidding, it's absolutely <laughs> delicious. Yeah, no, the rum, beautiful, crisp, but it gives way to the mint. For the mango, if you are at home, I would suggest giving it a little bit of a smash. A smash? Throw it in. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, but for all intents and purposes, you get a nice surprise at the bottom when you're done. Mm. And I love surprises. <laughs> All right, well, cool. that's it for our mojito today. Thank you again. Thank you for our special guest, yeah. Sarah, for coming <laughs> through. Hit her on the gram down below. Oh my gosh. No, don't hit me on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> don't find me. <laughs> don't find, all right, just kidding. Just don't slide into okay, DMs. You can, yeah, no, no DMs. You're more than welcome to follow me. I do not follow no DMs. Any kind of no cocktail videos. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Peace. guys. Mmm. Dry run doesn't mean I should be drinking it. So why not? Let's make it a wet run. I like your style. Chug okay. it. I mean, it's a standard cocktail size, okay? Uh, you know, a fiesta, not a problem. Fiesta, then siesta. <laughs> Here, I'll just drink the rest of this shit. Oh, sure. That's what you got. No need to waste it. <laughs> Show me what you got. How do you get over hangovers in the morning? I'm like, dude, are you not eating salad at the same time you're drinking? Because that's obviously how you do it. Really? Mm hmm. What? <laughs> Hangover drink? hack. Try it next time. The professional Sarah. Right. For every drink, the equivalent Promises. amount of leaky.